Hey everyone, welcome. So this is going to be an unofficial unboxing video of the Sausage Chemistry Lab at Home Kit. I received this in the mail a few days ago and it seems to have generated a lot of interest from some of you here. Uh, there will be more details on it, especially if you're taking the general chemistry or fundamentals of inorganic chemistry laboratories. So for any official matters, please refer to that. This is just a personal and a informal uh, kind of unboxing video for this lab kit. So I received this a few days ago. I've already sanitized it, aired it out, and well appreciated its aesthetics. So I'm going to be unboxing and explaining some of the contents to you out there who are watching this video. So off the bat, uh, we received a royal blue. I guess this is Ateneo blue box. It's cardboard, but it's got the Sausage Chemistry logo up top as well as the kit number in front. So this is the Lab at Home kit number two because I'll be handling both the General Chemistry Laboratory as well as the Fundamentals of Inorganic Chemistry Lab. So this will contain a little bit more items compared to the Lab at Home kit number one. Uh, but if you are just taking up the General Chemistry Lab, you don't need to get kit number two. Everything, uh, or at least most of the things that you would be needing will be provided already in the kit that you will be receiving. So for the most part, there are some things that you might be needing to buy on your own or you'll be able to find them in your household pantry already. So, uh, well, yeah. So let's just try to uh, unbox it. So it opens from the front. So there's this flap here where you can pull up and then that reveals the contents of this box. Uh, let me just put that all out of the way. Up top are some documents that you need to read before you explore the rest of the contents of this box. The very first page is actually a read me first, telling you what the information is about this kit, as well as the kit contents and the proper use of the equipment. If you have any uh, inquiries about this kit, of course, there's the contact information of the Department of Chemistry. And in Right off the bat, it also reminds you to never start any experiment on your own without any uh, guidance from your lab instructors. And of course, there are official unboxing videos available in your official Canvas sites and lab classes. The second paper already includes the contents of the kit. So you'll be able to see full details of that in your Canvas site as well. Uh, and then, of course, two pages dedicated for their agents list as well as their hazards okay, and some descriptions that you might be, uh, you, you might need to read before you work on any particular experiment. Uh, there is a reminder here written in bold, as a rule, treat any particular chemical as something that's hazardous. Uh, do not swallow, touch, ingest, or inhale any of the reagents that are provided with their kit. Generally speaking, most of them in the quantities provided to you are relatively safe. Just make sure that you operate with great respect and common sense for these particular chemicals so you don't put yourself and those people around you in danger. Okay, next up in the box is a lab apron. So it's again in Ateneo Blue with the Sausage Chemistry logo. It's got a front pocket. Uh, I, I believe this is on the chest level to try uh, so that you can have um, a small compartment for small items that you might be needing when you're doing experiments. So normally for lab aprons like these, I put in my pens or a small notebook, depending on what I would be needing for the experiment. Of course, I have my own flex column chart. Okay, so but this is a really good uh, lab apron for your own. If you try to do any experiments at home. Make sure that you use this so that you protect yourself as well as the clothes you're wearing. Next in the protective equipment, they are providing everyone with face shields actually. So this is a pretty kind of face shield. I actually appreciate this a lot. So it's a curved kind of face shield. Okay. I believe you can put it on top of glasses as well if you're wearing glasses, especially with this ridge design here. You can also use this beyond lab glasses or when you want to go out for errands. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. It's got a thick plastic material. Uh, 
This is provided in lieu of the lab goggles. So this is more multi-purpose than your lab goggles. You get full face protection as well as, of course, predominantly eye protection. Uh, all kits, including the general chemistry lab at home kit number one, contains a balance like this. It already includes two AAA batteries and some information about the balance. I believe this balance is rated for 500 grams with a 0 0.01 gram capacity. So please make sure that you have a balance that is uh, able to measure up to two decimal places, especially for a lot of the experiments that you will be dealing with. So uh, let me just put this away. There. So since uh, this kit is for the uh, fundamentals of inorganic chemistry as well, there is an included digital multimeter. It's the kind wherein you have to switch out uh, depending on uh, the power of 10 of either your amperes or voltage. Uh, this is pretty useful for a lot of measurements. You can use it beyond class for electronics measurements as well. Next is a... Uh, Probe. It's a pH meter with a range of 0 to 14 with two decimal places. It actually looks nice. It comes with its own carrying case and information regarding uh, the pH meter. So make sure you read the information in all the booklets included in this particular kit. There are solutions okay, for the buffer solutions that you would be needing uh, to calibrate your pH meter. And then, of course, the pH meter itself, the probe, looks like this okay. yeah so don't play around with this make sure that you wait for your instructors uh, further orientation on how to properly use this calibrate this and of course take care of this so that you don't waste pretty good piece of equipment okay. so let me just store that back up again i'm pretty bad with closing lids storing everything in front of me at the tiny desk. Okay. Next is a digital thermometer. It's got a battery already included here. I think it's LR44 uh, if you need any replacement batteries. So let's just try to remove it from its packaging. So it's already included in a carrying case, plastic tube. The label of the digital thermometer is at the bottom. To be honest, I'm not really sure if the video flips uh, all the characters on the right direction, but there you have it. So there's a lid covering your thermometer. I won't put in the battery at the moment. There's uh, instructions included in the kit. And then there is also okay, the rating of your thermometer. I'm not sure if you can see it focusing. Okay. You can just trust me on that. There are ratings here. This particular thermometer, uh, I believe, measures within one degree. It can measure for both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Yeah. So there are a lot of temperature-related measurements for a lot of experiments that we will be having in this particular semester. So what else? Okay. So you have a plastic tub included in your kit. This can double as both a container as well as to store the rest of the stuff included in your kit. Inside this particular tub are the other knickknacks that you might be needing for the experiments. So inside, it's actually packed really well. There's a bubble wrap. Just put that away. So there's a bubble wrap to protect your stuff. Instead of glassware, you have plasticware, right? but they do the job. So this is a graduated cylinder that's 25 ml and I believe the rating is uh, the graduations are one degree each, one ml each rather. Uh, and uh, well, it looks like a regular graduated cylinder. I personally prefer the glass ones, but of course, we can't really easily transport them. So we may do with plasticware. There are gloves included for your protection, especially for some of the experiments that would require you to deal with mixing reagents or handling reagents. There is a dropper bottle. Okay. So this is a plastic dropper bottle. I actually like the color scheme a lot. Uh, 
I try to figure out how to open this. Baka may child lock. Okay. May na si ma'am sa child lock. Tada! Okay, so the chopper tip looks like this. And the lock looks like this. I guess this is really child lock. So that if you put in some of the reagents inside, uh, you don't run the danger of other people easily opening it, especially children. That being said, keep this away from the reach of younger people inside your household so that you don't run into trouble. So included are some alligator clips that go with your electronic measurements and for the use of your digital multimeter as well. There are unknowns for your experiment. So this is a white powder. It's labeled non-hazardous. Um, and then, of course, there is a vial okay, that you can use. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are for just yet because you will be spoiled for the experiments that you'll be dealing. So this is a colorimetric strip. Do not touch the middle part. Make sure that you read all the instructions included in the container. Okay. So there's also a dropper bottle for phenolphthalein. So this is your dye indicator for a particular experiment that you will be doing in this, uh, in general chemistry especially. But you will be using this, I believe, again, or not. Okay. It looks empty, but there's actually a small content amount of the phenolphthalein here. You have to uh, wait for the instruction of your instructor and what you have to do with this so that you'll be able to properly use this during lab class. Another glass of vial with a rubber septum up top. Okay. And then a whole set of reagents that I'm not going to be showing to you anymore because uh, it should be discussed by your instructor. There are some sticker labels at the bottom and then I believe this is a filter paper or a wearing, wear, uh, weighing paper rather. All of these are in, uh, enclosed inside your plastic beaker. This is 300 ml which you will be using extensively for this semester. So let me just store that back inside. Okay, up next, okay. It's a dropper bottle with pre-weighed sodium hydroxide with a hazard label already. At the back already contains the measurement or the weight of your sodium hydroxide. And then of course, I have a plastic Erlenmeyer flask, Erlenmeyer flask, a bunch of rubber bands and some PVC pipes or tubes that are small enough. I believe they look like those sticks from lollipops, which will be used in some of your experiments. So here's a styrofoam cup for another experiment that you'll be doing. Okay, just put that back in here. Sorry for the mess. I only have a small desk up front of me. Okay. A sample that we will be using for uh, fundamentals of inorganic chemistry. This one is virgin coconut oil inside a vial. And then, of course, some tubing uh, already connected to a cork. So it's already measured and they already bore a hole for your convenience. Okay, so let me just put that back up. So I think I've uh, taken out most of the stuff. Let me just put them back here in this box here. Okay. So I already went ahead and put some of the stuff inside the box to make it a little bit tidier in my space. The last thing inside my kit are two differently colored modeling clays for one of the activities, especially in general chemistry. You'll be able to use this as well for holding things in place, among others. So that's basically it for this kit. So what are my thoughts on the kit? Well, it's a pretty nice kit. It's got most of the stuff I'd be needing for my general chemistry lab class. Is it worth the amount that you're paying for it? Sure, uh, especially it, since it's already taken off the hassle of compiling all the things you'd be needing for your lab classes. Uh, yes, you can try to put up a kit on your own. The, the difficulty would probably be with the reagents that are provided with a kit as well as the unknowns. Uh, some of them might be easily bought online, however, not in the quantities that you would be needing. So you're only going to need a small amount of reagents. And plus, for your safety, all these materials already included in the kit, I believe, have already been tested and vetted for by the department, so they should be in proper working condition and ready to go. 
So there, I hope you found this video rather informative and entertaining. Uh, definitely an informal unboxing, not the official video available out there. Uh, I highly recommend that if you are taking general chemistry or uh, fundamentals of inorganic chemistry to closely coordinate with your instructors. Yeah, and those who liked the other video I've posted, I hope you found this video satisfying. It's a really helpful kit and well, I hope it's a great step to make chemistry accessible for everyone out there. there. So yeah, thanks for tuning in.